Maritza Sanchez says Janice Martinez, you see her on your screen, posed as a retired veterinarian and performed an emergency C-section on her dog. Now, according to police, that surgery was performed on a kitchen table in an unsterile environment. Martinez has now been charged with misdemeanor animal cruelty. She is scheduled to appear in court on the 20th. And right now, a man is facing attempted murder charges following a shooting in East Hartford. Police arrested Terrence Brown in Hamden. He's accused of shooting a man on Nutmeg Lane last month at the Woodcliffe Estates Apartments. Another shooting victim was found a short time later nearby on Silver Lane. Both victims survived, which is some good news, but it's unclear whether those crimes are connected. And in Berlin, take a look at your screen. This man is accused of shooting a 17-year-old girl in the stomach. 18-year-old Benjamin Homar is facing charges, including assault, robbery, and possession of a stolen gun. That shooting happened on Deming Road on Sunday night. The girl is expected to be all right. She's actually been released from the hospital, but it's still unclear exactly what led up to that shooting. And court will resume on Tuesday in the Michelle Traconis trial. This is because of a scheduling issue as well as a holiday on Monday. Detective Michael Clark took the stand yesterday and testified about Fotis Dulos's cell phone data the day his wife disappeared. He says the phone appeared to never leave his Farmington home. While police have theorized that Dulos was traveling to New Canaan that morning to kill his wife, Clark testified that somebody was handling and unlocking his phone a number of times. Investigators have claimed the call was actually likely answered by Michelle Traconis herself. Remember, you can watch the trial when it resumes on Tuesday on WFSB+. Joe Biden says he's pleased that a special counsel concluded he should not face criminal charges for his handling of classified documents, but he is now firing back after that same investigator called him, quote, an elderly man with a poor memory. Special counsel Robert Hur is at the center of this controversy. He says that although Biden willfully retained and disclosed classified materials, he should not be indicted in part because he, quote, has diminished faculties and faulty memory. President Biden shot back saying his memory is fine and that, quote, I put this country back on its feet. We have much more on this report on the WFSB app. And turning out of campaign 2024, President Donald Trump won Nevada's Republican presidential caucus. He was the only major candidate to participate. Trump now takes Nevada's 26 delegates as he seeks to accrue enough to become the party nominee. Former U.N. Ambassador and South Carolina Governor Nikki Haley skipped that caucus, blaming what she considered an unfair process that favored Trump. New this morning, former pro football star and Connecticut native Dwight Freeney has been elected into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Freeney, Freeney rather, wore blue and orange when he played for Bloomfield High School and then starred at Syracuse University. The Bloomfield native then went on to the Indianapolis Colts for a decade where he was a seven-time Pro Bowler. Congrats to him. Scott? All right, thanks, Roger. We are taking a look at some precipitation right now in parts of southeast Connecticut. Hi, everybody. Good morning. It's time to rise and shine. We do have some partial shine out there for you this morning in other parts of the state. But again, a little bit of mixed precip in parts of southeast Connecticut. Visibility is down, especially at Oxford Airport, two and a half miles there. We do have some fog. The temperatures this morning were hovering around the freezing mark. They seem to have lifted. Those numbers continue to move up. So the threat for any icy spots is diminishing this morning. We turn our attention to our first alert alert for Tuesday. This is the next time frame of interest. Over the weekend, there might be a stray shower Saturday evening, but other than that, there's really no precipitation in the forecast until Tuesday, and that's when we're expecting a coastal storm. Now, all precipitation types are on the table, although the latest models are coming in a little bit snowier. Let me take you there. This is, and they're, they're off by about 12 hours. The European is coming in sooner. The GFS is coming in a little bit later. So some mixed precipitation breaking out. This is Monday at 7 p.m. The GFS has a is dry. Eight, uh, 7 a.m. Tuesday, both models indicating snow, a little bit more snow on Tuesday. Watch how quickly this exits on Tuesday afternoon for the European model, but it's still snowing on the GFS, and that's why this one is coming in a little bit later. We're going to certainly keep you posted as the uh, day continues to, as the days continue to march through. All right, Mystic, what a gorgeous eye cam shot that is. Dramatic sunrise shots this morning. 42 degrees on February 9th in New Haven. 
The normal high is 37. We've got 42 degrees for you. No ice in New Haven this morning. That's good news. 32 in Putnam. Again, a little drizzle in parts of the state this morning. There might be a couple of icy spots, but the numbers have really moved up nicely in Norwich and in Groton. And as you can see, the winds are basically calm, so there's not a lot of wind chill out there this morning. 49 to 53 degrees on February 9th. 53 degrees. That is remarkable. Fog, clouds to start. It's going to be a milder day than it was yesterday, and yesterday was pretty amazing. And I know you're looking at the window going, I see a lot of clouds out there. Yeah, this morning we have some fog and some damp roads, but we are expecting partly to mostly sunny skies by this afternoon. April-like warmth this weekend. We're talking 58 degrees tomorrow. And then next week, that coastal storm for Tuesday. Let's take a look at First Alert Futurecast. Tomorrow's weather today shows mostly sunny skies by noon. The clouds really clear out. 3 p.m. We're good tonight in, <clears throat> excuse me, increasing cloudiness through early tomorrow morning. And then tomorrow, I think we're going to see more clouds than sun, but don't rule out the possibility of a passing shower in the evening. This is Saturday right around 7 p.m. You'll notice a little bit of rain on, in the uh, forecast Saturday at 7 p.m. And then that quickly winds down and Sunday is looking pretty good, but it will be cooler behind the cold front. All right, let's take a look at Bradley. Little touch of fog out there. 36 degrees right now. Not too bad. Torrington, you'll notice the pavement there is a little damp. So just be careful out there. The roads could be a little slick in parts of northern Connecticut this morning. Middletown, good morning to you. Things look good there. Right now, our numbers in from you, our weather watchers, Killingworth at 34, Torrington, 31 with a little bit of that fog out there. Hmm. 33 in Woodbury this morning. And we'll take you right now to East Hampton, Madison and Watertown. Madison and Watertown, you've got a tie of 31 degrees. So as you take a look at the day ahead, the clouds are still with us at 10, but by 12, partly sunny, mostly sunny, and then the clouds are going to roll back in tonight through the day tomorrow. Mostly cloudy, but the southwesterly flow is going to pump those temperatures up. All right, here's the shoreline. Temperatures topping out in the upper 40s, low 50s along the shoreline as well. Here are the numbers, 49, 50, 53. Uh, just an amazing, incredibly mild day of weather with increasing amounts of sunshine. Here's the forecast, seven days ahead, 53. Uh, we've got 58 for you on Saturday. We're talking about 49 on Sunday. Monday, 47 degrees with uh, a little bit of an increase in cloudiness. And then a coastal storm rolls in Tuesday with mix. I'm not getting any cues, so I'm just going to keep talking. Uh, coastal storm, 39 degrees with some rain and some snow. And then breezy for Wednesday and Thursday looks mostly sunny. Roger, I hope I kept to my time. I have no idea what's going on. Uh, you're a rule breaker. You know that. All thank right, you, Scott. Thank you. All right, and thank you for watching Eyewitness News. We never play weather rules around here, right? Remember, you can always get news, weather, and traffic updates anytime on the WFSB app. We leave you with a fantastic shot from Mystic. Have a fantastic Friday. See you soon.